from Misili Family Abduction and Murder. Mauaji ya kikatili na ya kinyama ya wasichana wanawake watatu na wasichana wawili imetuletea uchungu to Kenyans fighting for justice. Where are we heading to as a country? Wametendewa kitendo ambacho ni cha kinyama sana. Na mimi kusema ukweli sielewi ni nchi gani tunaishi. Stop tribalism in Kenya. Because life and death does not choose tribes. And you guys are there under the comment section saying wasamali warudi kwao. Tuluambia mrudi kwenu wa msiki. Sasa mtanza kurudi kwenu. Anguka na. We are coming for you. Hello, how are you? Assalamu alaikum. Gamu Frank Kusodo wo show new trend. Magaiga wa Elvis Derry. Abductions, killings, and torture have been a daily occurrence in Kenya. Every day is new death. Every day is a new and painful story. A few days ago, two young girls, two young lovely girls from Isili and a mother, they were abducted and brutally tortured and killed. And their bodies were dumped in different parts in Kenya. Like, where are we heading to as a country? Listen to this. Just this week, we have lost three females, a mother, a daughter, and her niece. 12 and 22 years of age, respectfully. They left on Sunday, the 22nd of October, to go looking for their mom because they got an anonymous call that their mother was in a critical condition in the hospital. The kidnappers allegedly talked of a car coming to pick them up. They left their home, waited outside, got a phone call, got into a car, and they were never seen ever again. In three days, their bodies were discovered by the roadside in Parklands and Machakos. They were brutally murdered, bitten up, mutilated, raped, assaulted to death. And after that, their bodies being dumped. The level of inhumanity, cruelty, barbarism, and disgust to do that to a 12-year-old is insane. Kenyans, this is very, very sad to hear. Like, for how long will you keep on hearing about abductions, torture, and killings in our own country, in our own motherland? For how long? As you can see in this CCTV footage, these are the two girls who were abducted. As you can see, they are preparing to go and see their mother in the hospital after getting a phone call. When their driver came to pick them up, that was the last time they were seen. After those two young girls took that ride, they were never seen again. Later on, their bodies were found in different parts of Nairobi in very, very bad conditions. Their bodies were taken to the city mortuary. Edwin Sifuna, a member of the Kenyan Senate, went there to witness and see it for himself. And this is what he had to say after that. Listen to this. Wametendewa kitendo ambacho ni chakinyama sana. Na mimi kusema ukweli sielewi ni nchi gani tunaishi. Kama kuna watu ambao waneza kufanya vitendo kama hivi kwa muda huo wote. Muda ambao unamchukua mtu kumchinja binadamu mwenzake kama kuku. Alafu kisha muandame mtoto wake amuandame mwingine wa familia yake na muangamize kwa njia hiyo hiyo wakati huu wote tunasema tuko na vitengo vya polisi na usalama sidhani kama kuna mtu yote katika taifa hili letu la Kenya ambaye anaweza kujivunia kuishi katika mandhari kama haya mtajua kwamba mwezi huu tu tumekuwa na vitu, eh, vitendo kama hivi na matukio kama haya mengi sana Kenya was never the same again when this news spread all over Many Kenyans, especially in Isili, businesses were closed and people took to the streets to fight for justice. Hashtag justice for our girls. Isili leo imefungwa because we are mourning the death of the three women when you are katwa jana. So, tafadhali sara, sio wa Somali peke, wale wa Kenya wote, especially women. 
please be careful of who you keep as a company. Kamkunji member of parliament Yusuf Hassan also came out and he expressed his outrage over the killings of the two lovely young girls and a mother. And he said that this is unacceptable in this country, unacceptable to the residents and to the Kenyan people. Listen to what he had to say. Hatukubali kabisa hali ya mambo ilivyo sasa hivi ya kuwa na taharuku na wasiwasi na kuwawa kwa watu kila siku hapa na robi na kuingineko na hasa mawaji ya kikatili na ya kinyama ya wasichana wanawake watatu na wasichana wawili imetuletea uchungu na wasiwasi mkubwa na tunataka serekali chukue hatua mara moja kuhakisha kwamba hao wahalifu ambao wanazunguka katika mitaa yetu wanakamatwa mara moja na wanaletwa mahakamani kwa sababu hakuna mkenya hakuna mwana Nairobi hakuna mtu wa ISD ambaye sasa ana uhuru wa kutembea kwa sababu tunajua kuna wauaji makatili wako pale kwa hivyo tunataka serikali ichukue hatua haraka haraka kabisa kuwafuatilia hao watu na kuwakamata na kuwaleta mahakamani. Honorable Yusuf Hassan was also accompanied by Honorable Edwin Sifuna, a member of the Kenyan Senate, and this is what he had to say about this incident in Italy. Lazima sisi sote tusimame kama wa Kenya tukemee jambo hilo tuseme. Haiwezekani katika taifa ambalo tunajiita taifa la kidemokrasia taifa ambalo inahitajika serikali ilinde kila mwananchi na mali yake. Haiwezekani wa kinadada watatu wachukuliwe kutoka kwenye mitaa zetu kwenye barabara kisha watendewe ukatili kama ambao tumeona dada zetu wametendewa. Alafu tuambiwe na vitengo vya usalama kwamba hakuna mtu ambaye anajulikana ni nani alifanya kitendo hicho. Mimi kwa niaba ya wabunge wote wa Nairobi na wakazi wote wa Nairobi. Nataka nikemee vikali tukio ambalo limefanyika katika mtaa huu wa Isili na niwahakikishie kwa sababu ni nyinyi mlinipa kazi hii ya kuwa sauti yenu. Sauti hii yangu nitaitumia hadi haki iweze kupatikana kwa ajili ya dada zetu hao A human rights activist Hussein Khalid was in Machakos following up the heinous murders of the three females. Later on together with his team they brought the mother's body from Machakos to Nairobi City Mochari, also confirming that the autopsies will be done on Friday. Kenyans, we are all facing the same problems, the same issues, the same killings, the same abductions every day. But yet, some people who decide to have that tribal mindset like i i don't believe that in this day and age and era that there's still some tribalism in people's minds those should be something of the past but yet some people choose to live that kind of life listen to what speak your mind had to say about this what is your problem what is the problem with Kenyans? Why do we respond to things like that? We can't be traumatized as a nation. All of us cannot resolve. It, yo, guys, we cannot move forward like this. What is the problem? Shida inakwaga nini? What is the problem? I'm looking at these videos where families have lost their loved ones. People are mourning. It is very unfortunate events. We are sad. We are sad because we do not understand. It should be alarming for every person. Every single one of you should be alarmed because life and death does not choose tribes. And you guys are there under the comment section saying wasamala rudi kwao tuliambia mrudi kwenu amski sasa mtaanza kurudi kwenu. Are you guys okay like here? Like are you guys okay in the head? Mkosa kwa kichwa yenu. Mkosa because what type of comments are those? Like if it was someone else who died, would we come down and say oh wakikuyu by the tuliambia mrudi nyari? No, it's not okay. Those comments are not okay, guys. What is the I thought recently we had become one. I thought you guys are removing someone from their seat because they are tribalists. I thought you guys decided this nation is tribeless. Ama those applies to other tribes and not us. Because Miss Elewi, why are you guys talking shit under videos where people have lost their loved ones? What is the effing problem? Not everybody in Kenya has that tribal and primitive mindset. And 
Kenyans came out to support. People came out to support. And also people raised their voices and spoke up about this uh, tribalism nonsense. Listen to this. So, oh, oh mama ariuliwa is he na mtoto wake wa msichana na the niece. So, Malis wakatoka ku protest. MP wanasema Ruto must go in the process because this is bad governance. Like, our wenye umuruwa wamekua wengi sana sasa. Right? And the government is not doing anything. Hakuna kitu wenye nafanyika. But nikienda kwa hizo videos comment section zote zimejaa sasa wa Kenya wakisema ti Somalis must go. Siju muna sema Ruto waenda wapi Ruto wakuna mahali ya naenda nyinyu ndiyo muna enda. Like muna chukia wa sena muna wabuli because of actually doing something. Because femicide zika happen nyinyi huwa muna victim blame wana wakiwenu. But wow, one of their women ama their women wakiuliwa wanatokelezea watu wanaanza kuprotest. Like shida iku wapi if they are speaking for their women ama shida iku wapi if they are trying to do something about femicide in Kenya. Even if we may pay attention, so then their women are getting killed. Like honestly, she may go happy exactly. So negative comments will not solve our issues in this country. Degrading your own brother, your own sister, your, your fellow Kenyan, your fellow African, it will not solve anything, but it will just create boundaries and make things worse for our communities. Yo, my Kenyans, my fellow Kenyans, I never thought you guys hated us. This much. Sijai that ni mulikuwa muna tuchukia hivi vyote until now. Damn. Jameni, someone lost their wife, their daughter, their child, a family. And you are there commenting ati, si tuliwambia murudi kwenu, mtanza kurudi kwenu. What with all those comments? People are sad. You commenting that. Does it even make sense? Like yo, unajaribu kusoma those comments under the videos and you just get pissed all of a sudden i don't know because of the hate and the how people are talking shit about the muslim people and how they are starting to hate it's just like someone maybe i'm on a of videos and then they just go into the comment section and all you can read is shit and you know the hate against the muslim people by the way unajua kile kimewafanyikia can also happen to you or someone that you know or a relative of you like this should have been an alarm to you and a lot that you should take care of yourself too and currently no one is safe in this situation whether be kenyans or somalis it can happen to anyone it's a sad situation we are in we are supposed to be humans in this kind of situation we were created from the same creator Sympathy shouldn't be something that you can't feel for your fellow humans. Let's be one, please. Let's be humans. Let's act like humans. Let's take care of each other. Let's not hate on each other. Please. Many, we don't deserve these Kenyans. Our fellow Kenyans. Yeah. I'm still very shocked that some people have that primitive, that backward mentality of tribalism. So, what have we been fighting for all this time? Are we fighting for equality? Are we fighting for freedom? Are we fighting to be together as one people, as one nation, as one country? Listen to what our two brothers had to say about what is happening. Do you guys remember Farah Malima Kisema and you were 5,000 Gen Z's? Our brothers and sisters from Isli. Tumesike kitumefanyika. Kuyo mama mewawa ki wanatoto wawili. Wakatukua tumesike kitumefanyika. But you guys, do you remember on 25th when you were in the streets, my Gen Z was in Kenya, in Kenya, in Kenya, in nobody is safe. Adi my MCS, my senators, my Kyoto, from the near up in Kenya, in Zima, I'm not pulling you, I'm not taking you, I'm not abduction. So what are you doing? Does it mean you want to sleep with me? No. We should stand up as Kenyans, not to protect lives there too. Talk to, the, to our people, Somali people. Eh, mm. 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 Somali people are lie. Mm. Stop tribalism. You know, Kabila, Zijuani, Kabila Gani, Kabila Aina Mana. Come on, I'll say, you don't know what you do. 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 Eh, hey, kuwa humble. Kuwa macho mambo kabila tuache wala wala Somali people mimi na ni huma sana mkikandamiza mki watu. Sasa nani nimekandamizwa sana lakini ajua siku moja itakuja itaisha tu inshallah. Wana lo siku zote. Zote wala lo. Just not long ago, Dela Ward MCA Yusuf Hussein was abducted around 9 p.m. and brutally tortured and murdered 
and later on his body was found in a very inhumane condition. Listen to what his driver said what happened and what took place during that night of abduction. Listen to this. Waliweza kutoka wanaume tano kwa ile gari na gari ya Prado ikakuwa bado iko on motion kidogo. Walitoka watano waina wakakuja kwa passenger seat na mmoja akakuja mbele ya saidi ya kwangu kwa dereva akanishikia gun. Ah wengine vile walitoka walikuwa na inua to the west they had, they had some guns to the west. Sasa vile walikuja hivi walimchukua wale walimchukua ule jamaa nilikuwa nimebeba haraka haraka wakamuingiza kwa ile prado yao na mmoja akarudi tena akaniambia leta kila kitu leta kila kitu yako yote wakachukua simu yangu aenda na earphones na charger wakachukua wakatoka nazo ule mmoja bado amenishikia gun to my side ndio sasa baadaye after huyu amechukua kila kitu yangu kwa gari waliingia tena kwa gari wakatoka waliingia tena wote kwa gari wakatoka na customer Even medical officer interns are not safe in this country. Like Dr. Desri Mora, she was working under very barbaric working conditions, which pushed her to unalive herself. Just listen to her story. A medical officer intern just committed suicide yesterday. But let me give you a picture of what happened for her to reach that level. So this intern was the only intern in her department. She was doing 36 hour back to back shifts with a very toxic superior who was on her neck and on top of that she wasn't being paid I don't think the government wants to pay medical officer interns anytime soon rent pending utilities pending bills pending unable to pay been working for months and people expect her to deliver significantly and she was a brilliant doctor been to med school for 10 years 10 years can you imagine that yeah that's what's going on our junior colleagues the brilliant minds of this country because all the a students or majority of a students when they finish they go to med school and on top of that after finishing due to delay of systems for 10 years in a six-year course they go to internship where they're saving lives on a regular while at the cost of their lives and their life force and the government doesn't want to pay them and they don't have the bills to pay for their own living expenses yet they're there in the hospital saving lives taking care of people yeah we can't we can't allow that kenyans manze to eleone this is this is sad this is it's heartbreaking but that's what's happened i had to i had to let the kenyan public know what's going on even Kirinyaga MCA cried and called for justice after her 23-year-old daughter was found naked in a rented room in Bayafara Estate in Thika. Man, just, just take a look at this. Tangu mandi, tumeshinda huku tukisunguka tukitaka haki ya mtoto wetu. Tulikuja hapa kwa hii biafla sijui nini hii buildings. Pakanza kutusungusha. Tangu hii siku, hatuja pata haki ya mtoto. Kukuji, kuenda leo kwa polisi hapo theka tumekuta tu yule msichana ambaye alikuwa hapa ana, anashaka nao askali sasa tukajua sasa sasa tutapata haki lini sisi kama wakina, kama wazazi tutapata haki lini ni mpaka leo huku theka watoto watu wataendelea kuhuliwa na polisi tu sijui wame, wa, wa, wanafanya nini hakuna kitu wanafanya hata kidogo hawafai kukua hata hii fika wanaendelea tu kusema sijui nini wamezoeana na watu wafika sana na sisi tu kwanza mimi ni mwenyewe nilimuona eh? amenyongwa hivi hakuwa na nguo hakuwa na nini na alafu then unaona tu wa, wa, wanaume askali tu wana, mm. wanaona tu kama ni kuku ilichinjwa kama kuku ilichinjwa tu sasa sisi mimi nimeshoka na kama tukashika huyo msichana angepata na tutawatafuta hata sisi tunangu sasa si hata wao wako na watoto si waangalie tu haki ya haki yetu haki ni wengi sana sisi angalia sisi ni waheshimiwa saa hii tunalilia hapa na mtu wa kawaida anapata haki lini mmm mwenye alichukua mwili alikuwa very confident atawashi na mimi nikamuuliza na hata phone inaonyesha na kila kitu Mustiana mwenye walilala na yako huko. 
mnasema mtawashika siku gani wakaniambia tayari wameshika sijui wangapi ati lakini hatuwezi yonye at because our emotion are still high hatuwezi yonyeshwa wenye wameshi lakini at tayari wameshika lakini ni uongo hawakushika because leo nimekuja umeniona nimepata huyo msichana pale akicheka akiwa ameketi kwa kili ameniona amekimbiria huku sijui kama ametoka ametolewa na Subaru ya hao askari wenyewe wa huku ndio imemtoa imeenda na yeye even Wells Fargo company's human resource manager Willie Sayeko how he was abducted handcuffed and tortured he was tortured inhumanely to the point that his heart stopped like i just like i don't know where we are going to as a country this is very traumatizing in this country like when will these deaths abductions stop just listen to how things unfolded we just saw our brother's body being retrieved from uh, from a ditch kidnapped and handcuffed and killed like an animal my friend's dad who runs the supermarket here muzo mulo was attacked on friday and seriously injured so we are living in fear as game residents and this is unacceptable and we are asking the authorities the police to be in charge mr willis ayeko's brother was also very broken and shocked to hear about his brother's death and this is what he had to say we were we wanted to see the last place where the vehicle stopped because that is where i thought he was stopped last and it came true because it was around that place that they had stopped we, they dragged him we found a naked man with his clothes he was not naked but he was cut the bones are not there the eyes are gone out the ears are cut the nose is cut the mouth is cut why why die such a painful death that was that robbery i don't think i have stayed in, in this earth really is is my is not biologically is my father's son but mentally i mentored him i took him to school therefore with authority i can say that was not normal robbery where were they taking the parts they are taking it to somebody who who had assigned them the duty to say that we have done it therefore i don't know who killed my brother and what we want help us if you have a team that can investigate help us investigate and find the killers so kenyans this clearly shows you that we are not safe in our own country instead of us fighting each other not forgetting that we are all africans Instead of telling our Kenyan Somalian brothers and sisters to go back to Somalia, is Somalia not Africa? Are they not Africans? What is the difference between you and somebody who was born in West Africa or Central Africa or South Africa? We are all Africans. So, let us stop talking about all this nonsense of, of tribalism. Tribalism will never take us anywhere. That is a backward mindset. It is a primitive mindset that has to stop from today, from now. Let us shame those people who are very very tribal. As speaking uh, ill and being against our fellow Africans I love my fellow Africans it doesn't matter which part of Africa we come from and let me tell you umoja ni nguvu when we're together we can achieve a lot we are fighting the same enemy we have the same enemy let us come together and fight the same enemy and bring that enemy down let us not be like Farah Maalim who said that he's going to kill 5000 Jesus when he becomes the president of Kenya He was in a TV 47 together with Mr. Jeremy Kioni and Mr. Jeremy said to walk away because he cannot talk and sit and interact with a murderer. Just listen and see how things unfolded. No, my name is a lawyer. Right. When you don't have substance on an area that you are going to invade and you're scared of somebody see, is going to be you are going to be like you. You know what I mean? He's still on the same line. You're scared of, of somebody one thing gentlemen, you to you. See, gentlemen, gentlemen, you want to you now want to sort me. I did not say while he cannot be able to say it for me you Jeremiah can go ahead carry on. We, well, we'll I cannot, cannot be able to sit with a person who can be. Look, it is well. It is well. Let us proceed with the conversation. Let me tell you. Let us proceed with the conversation. my old friend. I cannot sit to discuss with Sara Mari. Where he took a position of killing 5000 Jesus in this country that is why we are losing the country because of individuals who have no character and we are calling them leaders national leaders 
I cannot demean myself to the level of discussing with you. The killing of Gen Z hurts me up to today. Why did we have to kill young people in this country? For saying they want school fees, they want food, for saying they want health, and then you bring a person of that character to debate with me, I start for better things. Do you I think cannot. the NCIC has failed in NCIC addressing... The NCIC is a dead dodo, just like parliament. Those are the institutions that have let us down. One last question, uh, Muheshimiwa. Do you think that uh, what uh, Honorable Father Marim said, uh, do you think he should be, he should, he should, he should stand trial in court? He actually should be in, removed from Parliament. He should have been recalled from Parliament. On this, I support Honorable Jeremiah Ngayu Kioni for walking away, for walking out of the interview and leaving that primitive fool to have that interview and that conversation by himself. Because how can you advocate for killing of 5,000 Gen Z's. Not forgetting that the Gen Z's are from all communities in Kenya. All communities in Kenya. But yet you want to kill them. My goodness. Where are we heading to as a country? Like, let us not support such people. Let us not vote for such people. Let us vote for the right people. The people who are fighting for the freedom of this country. People are fighting for equality for this country. Those are the people that we need to support and bring close man this is crazy here are some of the scenes that uh, took place in Isili where people kenyans kenyans took to the streets and seek and fight for justice for the two young girls and a mother who were abducted and brutally tortured take a look how can you cheer against your own people listen to them listen to these two Garissa Lodge. Kuna demonstration. Hey, I'm a gongo kicho bana. Ah. And hospital ban. What the fuck? What the f fuck? Oh my god. Today we are mourning. Tuna sema mungu apeleke house chana jana. There is nothing else we can say. We don't know the psychopath that enjoyed doing that. Imagine kuchukua mtu una enjoy mpaka una katakata. You take the time kuweka kwa meza una katakata. Imagine. And then una chukua you transport them to another place. That is very difficult for a normal person. No matter what tribe, no matter what ethnicity, no matter how they look like, no matter their color, and all of that, try to be human. With that being said, please stay safe, be your brothers and sisters keepers, let's be respectful, and till next time. So Kenyans, my fellow Kenyans, my dear Kenyans, let us stop tribalism, let us stop this self-hate that we have among ourselves. Let us come together as one people. We are all Africans. It doesn't matter which part of Africa you go to. Even you yourself, when you travel to other parts of Africa or in or different countries, 
You want the people there to treat you nice. You want the people there to respect you, right? So let us respect each other in our own country. Remember, these borders that are in Africa, those are borders that were set there and put there by the colonizers. Let us not have that colonial mindset, that slavery mindset. We are one people, one Kenya, one Africa, one nation. That is what who we are. So let us advocate and speak the language of peace, love, and unity among our communities. Ah, it's really, man. It's really just amazing, man. Like, I really love this place. It's amazing. Ah! 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 My brother, what's up, man? Bro, it's been long, man. Three years. Three years, man. Ah! Welcome, man. Welcome, man. Like, I'm just walking around. It's really, like, it's really just amazing, man. This place is amazing. The people are amazing. Very friendly, man. Your heart is running away. <laughs> man, you guys like are in Sili right now. Yeah, yeah. Just amazing, and I've met my brother right here. Yeah. So, guys, let us go to BBS Mall and see this yeah. the biggest mall in East Africa in Sili, man. Thank you so much for joining us on today's show. I'm your host, Elvis Derry. See you in the next one. Bye bye.